Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is the look we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing in some glitter. And I know you ladies love glitter, especially for the birthdays. Y'all love you some glitter. So that's what we did today, you know. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Hey y'all. I'm back. Um, I took a little... Just a mini little break, a little little break, just because I had finals, so I had to take care of that, study and everything. I already primed my face, my eyebrows are on. They're a little, they're a little much right now, but that's because the glitter and everything's gonna be a lot, so that is why. Don't look at me crazy. And yeah, so I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna get started. Okay, so now we're zoomed in, and what I'm going to do, I already primed my eyes with the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I set it with some MAC Translucent Powder. First thing we're going to do is use a transition color from the Masquerade Palette in the color Burkina. This is just to create that gradient feel, make sure everything is seamless, and you want to make sure you blend, blend, blend. Then we're going to go in with a darker color called Fulani from the same palette and we're gonna go right on top of that color that we put already. You wanna make sure you use a nice big fluffy brush, a blending brush. Now we're gonna go in with Atta and we're gonna go closer to our crease, fanning it out into that those other two brown shades. This is to create a more warm feel. It's a little more on the orange reddish side. So now we're going to go in with our crease color. It's called Zobo. 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 <laughs> and we're going to go into our crease and fan it out just a little bit, not too much. So we can so we don't lose those browns and orangey shades that I already put up there. And I'm using a more defined blending brush from Elf. Now we're going to go into a uh, orange shade and put it more at the top of our crease because I felt like my crease wasn't orange enough how I wanted to wanted it to be. I wanted it to be more of a sunset shade. So that is the color Caro. And now we're gonna jump into our NYX Love Contours All Palette and we're gonna get a deep plum shade and put that right in our crease to deepen up the crease more. Now, what we're gonna use in our Saharan Palette shade, we're gonna go into the color Jamila and keep packing some more orange because I did not find the right orange to put there, but I think this is it. This is the look I was going for to get a brighter orange. We're gonna go into a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's the color Dare, and we're gonna use it as our base on our lid for our first glitter that we're gonna use. The glitters I'm using are from Violet Voss. And the first color I'm going to use is Victoria. It's like a fuchsia purple shade. And we're going to use the NYX Glitter Primer to put the glitter on top of our lid. We're going to put that first as the adhesive. And then we're just going to put that Victoria Glitter shade on top of the base color and the primer. You're going to just blow off the excess off of a flat brush and pat it down onto the adhesive so it can stick evenly. Next we're going to go into the same color that we put on top of our lid for our transition shade in Jamila from the Saharan palette as our base shade for the next glitter called Electric Coraline. It's also from Violet Vaz. And we're just going to use it in the middle. I was a little worried about this glitter because the first time I used it, it didn't really come out peach that it looks. It came out more of a reflective, but the base of the Jamila orange color that I used definitely helped. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid.
To give the glitters more depth, I'm going to add some of that fuchsia shade in the middle of the two glitters so it blends nicely. And then I'm also going to add that Jamila color from the Saharan palette right on top to create a gradient effect. And now I'm just going to dust off the rest of the glitter off of my face, come back with some information on some lashes, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I didn't want to do anything else to my eyes before I came back to you guys. So I'm just going to do a little inner eye, and then I'm going to do a blue under eye. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. Okay. So on the inner eye, gotta go gold. Got to. We're going to go into Senegal from the Saharan palette. Pop that right there. It is what it is. We're going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Peacock to underline our eye. And then we're going to pop that bl a blue shadow by ColourPop called Coconut. Super Shock Shadow in Coconut. And we're going to line that. moped it out a little bit so there's that and then we're going to line our waterline with black black bean in the next jumbo pencil just so I don't look like weird you know Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize now if you missed anything. My card became full. So I lined my lips with Frickin' Frack by ColourPop. And I still don't know what I'm about to do with my lips though. Hmm. That's a nude. That's a no. You know what? How about this? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. So we are going to do Zipper by ColourPop. Okay, so I didn't do a nude or brown lip. Y'all should be proud of me right now. You should really be proud of me. I feel like I need some depth though. I like how it looks. I just don't like how dry it looks. Tiramisu. Next tiramisu. Okay. So, Azaretto Cosmetics, they emailed me and they wanted me to be a part of their affiliate program. So, here it is. It's, it's formerly known as Mandy Cosmetics. And these are lashes here. I got the one in Goddess. When I tell you these things are soft and they look, they look good. They about to look good on this. So yeah, and it comes in this little package. It's really cute and it also 
comes with instructions of how to keep and maintain your lashes the best way possible and also 5% of all their proceeds goes to cancer research and I when I read that I was like oh I'm definitely going to be a part of this because that's a great cause like honestly that's a great cause so I'm going to slap these babies on oh and if you want to of course if you want to get your own you go to Azaretto I'm gonna put it in the description box and it might you know put it right here somewhere but azarettocosmetics.com and you can use my code BB10 all the information is gonna be in the description box I'm gonna put a link and everything and you're gonna get some money off so I'm gonna measure them first clip them then slap them on my face with some duo glue yes yes to these lashes goddess lashes you know you can actually this is actually a wearable look I mean if you want to go to the club and be like it's a birthday you know a birthday look birthday look that's what it is because this glitter is blinking these lashes are popping this highlight is blinding you I honestly love how this came out you know I was a little skeptical in the beginning because the glitter wasn't working how I wanted it to but I like how it came out and the lipstick everything was just not going the way I wanted it to but it came out good so I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it thank you for all your support and I hope you enjoyed the video